Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Let's Play Soma. So, in the last episode, we made our way to Omnicrog, only to find the door bloody locked, or it doesn't work, there's a malfunction or something. So now we have to try and find another way in. And I've just had a look at the trophies, and I four trophies left to get. So, I'm guessing that pretty soon. Oh god, why is it going to be the right way? Why is it going all funny on me? Oh, that's just a post. Yeah, so I'm guessing that. Oh god, it's all falling apart! But yeah, um, with four trophies left to get, obviously, made it. We're coming up to end game. I don't like how it's going all funny on me. Where, where am I going? That's where I need to go. Why am I climbing down? Rob, what are you climbing down for? And what was the point in that? Ah, get with the program, Rob. I don't like how it's... I just put my thoughts so on was up there then. Hello? Can you hear the, the whales singing? That's really cool. Oh, that's the ladder I want to climb down. Aha! So, with Endgame coming up, I want to try and, if I can, finish it today. But it depends how long I've got left to go. Because, thank you. I need to get some videos uploaded, 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 or edited at least, so I can play some space on my hard drive. Because it's getting pretty fun. So generally, when I get to around between 550 to 600 gigabytes free, I tend to make sure that that's when I start recording for a bit and start editing a bunch. And I'm coming up to nearly 650 at the minute, so I need to. Let's find that suit. Hello, sister suit. I need to start looking, not looking around, start editing soon. But I'm looking at getting a new hard drive or an added hard drive so I can add more videos to it. Hello, where's your head gone? Oh god, these people didn't get ahead very far, did they? They've lost their head. Has someone stole their black boxes? Is that why their heads have been stolen? Global lockdown active override at dive room console. I hope there's no more proxies in here. So I'm making all this. I bet you're locked. Yep, you're locked. Okay, so this is the way that we want to go. Robot repair bay dispatch containment dive room. Hello? I can hear my heart beating through the headset, like the heart in the game. Although, Simon wouldn't really have a heart, would he, being a robot? Oh! Um, stop what? Ross! Where's Rachel? Ross! Ross! Don't leave me! I need to stop something. What do I need to stop, Ross? You, you can't leave me hanging like that, Ross. Bet he's going to say, we were on a break. I got pills that multiplying. And I'm losing control. But my anxiety, it's residing. It's declining. You better shape up. Ooh, 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 because I need something and my pills are cleaning up yes my pills are cleaning up you know what i want you are the i don't even know what i'm singing i do apologize 
I just get like start singing random song lyrics and then yeah. It's how I get free work. I make up I make up songs with like tunes just to get me through the day and everything. So oh you know shit. Power suits tested and ready. Omnicron scans are in the arc. Catherine confirms. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Climber calibrated for weight. Crane operator ready. Omnicron standby, standing by for pickups in two days. How many set of suit? Oh, we've read this one, haven't we? Yeah. And then this is the old team again. So Catherine on the left. Is that Joe? Ian. Alison and is that Sarah? I think there's an Omni tool there that's broke, busted. And I'm glad I crashed away. Oh, hello, we can put Catherine in here. Huh. Is this Omicron? Everything is so basic, so limited. I hope it's not the Omni tool falling apart. Okay, we need to find you a power suit. You know, so we can go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda? <coughs> Think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to <laughs> now. Oh, okay. can't forget. Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. Okay. Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. <sighs> okay, so... We'll be switching bodies. That, can we talk to her again and see what she's got to say? No. So it pushes turn power on. Uh, that one's D is open. Or these power suits. Oh! God. Nice. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. Why is everyone losing their head? Do -do -do -do. Loading. Loading. We've not been transferred into the Highlander world, have we? A high pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 Celsius to minus 75 Celsius while keeping a steady 40 Celsius default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal 180M up to a depth of 500M, 500, 5000 meters even, idiot. The onboard controller monitor, oh, the onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize the risk of shock hyperventilation, and even dehydration. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings that locks the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked with specific personnel, but as a default, the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin condu conductance. He uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. Okay. Can we not go back? There we go. HPS tracking. So we're near the uh, the Omnicron station. HPS activated. Pod D. Error fan. Not exactly grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few kinds of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We 
We found a suit with an already dead <laughs> body inside. I guess you're right. What about the WoW? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Back. I'll do all the work. Main menu. Right, so there's nothing there. Okay, so we've got our shopping list that we need to find. I guess we can't go that way. So we're going back this way. Oh, pardon me. Don't forget, we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. How could I forget? I've got to admit, living underwater is really kind of nice. It looks so nice and peaceful. Although, is it me? Or do my eyes seem to be going a little bit blurry? Like this meat suit is dying on me or something, isn't it? That's what it seems like. North North Storage. Let's see what's in storage. Nothing. Okay. Kerosene. Oh, no. Okay, so there's nothing useful apart from the kerosene, but I don't know what we need kerosene for in an underwater, unless it's just to... Uh, unless we've got like a furnace or something. Ross! Jesus Christ, he looks contorted. His body looks all contorted, doesn't it? Laboratory. Okay, so we can't get in the lab just yet. What about the clean room? Oh, what's this? Upper, midsection, up. Lower. Finding fault location, eh? Oh, what? Uh, reset sequence. What was that? We have... Is it... Oh, wait. I see. So, it's not from here. Right, I see what I've got to do. I think I've got to, uh... Uh... Light them all up, haven't I? So if I go there, 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 there. Oops. There we go. Have I done it? Whoa! Ross is there again. What is Ross doing? It's, it's like he's in a prison. That's like a prison for him, isn't it? Right, so everything's been opened up, so... I wonder what's in the clean room. Oh, no, I want... Ah, crap it out. There we go, thank you. Summit in there. Is that a body? Oh, someone else with that ahead. Is 
They've locked themselves in, look. What the frick is going on? That's what's on the table, isn't it? Check previous results. Test. Can you hear it talking? What? Should something at the theta? Is it talking to me? Or it's trying to, isn't it? Oh, what they've done to the rat. The structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from the power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. Is that Ross near me? <coughs> it seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Apply gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. Stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by E. Ames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnetics are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-linked gel with a line graphene in a poly, poly unsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WOW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WOW simply uses it in ways that we would never have dreamed of. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all, de that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were, nimi blah, 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 were manipulated by WOW by a structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by a cancerous growth that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's a bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like but but looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Okay, that was actually quite interesting. So essentially structure gel constructs percent shit. Never seen something of that speed. Oops, someone's burnt out. So, where do I put this control chip, or do I find a new one? That's kind of disturbing, like how she's locked herself in there. There's a blood splatter there. But there's no head. So it's like, where did the head go? That's a chip there. Dispense cell. Oh, dispense gel. Ah. I don't know what it... Ah, wait.
What? I don't... I don't get what happened. So if I lock that again, and then... Oh, look. That pork. No, it's not because of a rat. That's got a chip in it. Nope. Right, we're going to lock that back in there. But can I put my chip in here? I can. And if I shut that, lock that. I don't know what happened there. Uh, then what do I do? Sell one. Right, so we're in cell two. I don't know why I'm putting the gel on my key card. Let's go to cell three. Hey, did its foot just move then? It's tech. Hey, it's moving. It's alive. It I feel like alive. something like it. I feel like Doctor Frankenstein here. It's alive. That is quite cool, though, actually. Oh, listen to it. It's in pain. Poor thing. Actually. Okay, so it just goes to dispense the gel there anyway. I don't think I can do it anymore with that one. It's alright, buddy. But I'm guessing that this must bring the chip back to life or something. So if I was to put that in there, gel uncalibr uncalibrated. There we go. So that's opened that. So that's the gel that I need. So I, what, I need a battery pack now, don't I? And what was the other thing I needed? I can't think what the other... The battery pack and... Is there a way to find out what she, want, what she wants me to get? I don't think there is. It is. Oh, hello, Ross. What is? Tell me. Ross, what's important? Keep saying something's important, but you won't bloody tell me. Oh, okay. 
Right, can I put a new tape in? I don't think I can. So what's going on in here? Dead rats. We've got a syringe, we've got whatever that was. We've got a health pack there. What's this? Nothing. A drill. Okay, it's got to be in here then that I need to go. Why would. Something's going to happen. So why, why would it give me a health pack? Atlantic cod. Dorsal fin. Anyone needs to learn about fish? Here you go. And then. Atlantic sea nettle. That's a jellyfish or a man of war, isn't it? I nearly got stung by a jellyfish once when I was in the sea. Or it might have been a man of war. Basically, I was in the sea and I was going quite far out and my grandparents were shouting and my sister was shouting at me and waving at me. And I didn't have a clue what they were doing, so I was just waving back at them. And they were trying to tell me that there was like a jellyfish or a man of war behind me. But I wasn't paying attention. So what am I meant to do in here then? I'm going to click. Oh wait, what's this? Oh. oh wow! Wow, so that's what I look like. That is freaky. I literally am a robot. Jesus. I don't get though how like, unless it's a power source, isn't it? And I'm taking it away. So, there's nothing that I unplug there. Nothing in there. What are they? They're uh, data pads or something. I want to play it. I want to put these tapes in, see if I can listen to them. Okay, I don't know what I'm meant to do in here, although perhaps the only purpose of coming in here was to see my face. Maybe. Let's leave the lab for now. So I've been... I've done the lab. I've done the... Oh, hello. What's this? Jacob Halper, <coughs> Halper in. Oh, not Joseph, it's Jape. <coughs> Japer and Johan Ross. Ah, Ross. An unusually sedated orange rufflet, Ruffy found hovering outside Omnicron substation. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem, during post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life while, while being out of water kept swinging for a few minutes so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Dead on arrival. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what sabotaged the Luma probe at about 900 metres depth. It's a 157 centimetre long rudder fish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it's getting worse. Something is causing this, and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Overy can't shut up about. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If, if the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. Okay. 
So something happened to Russ. That's the clean room, so I've been in there. Russ, you need to tell me what's going on, mate. Oh, we've got blood. I've been, have I been in here? Yes, I have. That's where I turned the power on. So I went out that way. Which then is just this door here. So if I go back to this way. I've not been in there yet, but I've... Right, yeah, so I've been down there. Let's go... Oh my, what's this like? Fungus or seaweed or algae or something. Right. So there's nothing really useful in there. I don't know where I'm going to get like this battery pack and whatever else it's telling me that I need. Oh hello, who's this? Is, half, is he half robot? Half. Okay, it's not going to tell me anything. But, like, what's going to happen to him? He's like half robot, half human. It's like he's been melded together or something. <coughs> oh, I unlocked the stuff on the first floor as well, didn't I? So I'm on the middle floor at the minute. So I can go down to the first floor and have a look. I'm sure I just saw something move then. So I can have a look on the first floor, can't I? Omnicron lockdown. Infirmary. Ross, are you here? Ross? Right, so this is the upper floor, isn't it, that I'm on at the minute? Yeah. Right, so if I override the upper floor... This is quite cool how it does that. And then I can go down to the lower floor. Then. Uh, oh, another one with heart ahead. It seems like we've only seen one person with a head so far. Get out of my way, you stupid chair. Come on, I want to use this laptop. Okay, I can't. Oh, I can. Uh, undelivered report. Johan Ross was found dead on climb this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda Est. Is this Dow then? Well, has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. And definitely not to mourn people. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. Okay. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. <clears throat> I can't bring myself to stop her. Oh. So someone killed... This is Dao then, isn't it? And someone chopped her head off. Some unknown... Oh, dinner, look. Noodles, very nice. We've got spinach, rice, miso soup, noodles, curry mix, fried beef. Living a life of luxury, it seems, eh? <sighs> okay. 
Okay. That's an intercom. That's a data mine. I don't really need that yet. Uh, so there's nothing else this way. Power room. Another storage room. Is this a battery? Nope. Hard hat. It's not like I need a hard, hard hat. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I think, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, because it's done a save and I don't know why and I need a pee. Um, so thank you very much for watching guys. I do hope you have all enjoyed the episode. If you have, please do leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with this series or any other series and I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Bye.